is uh, one of our uh, patients. This is uh, uh, Mr. Arthur Cassano, who is going to speak with us today about uh, a, a, a neurovascular accident that he had in uh, the New York City area uh, and the role that imaging uh, played in helping diagnose and treat him and leading to his recovery. It's great to have you, Mr. Cassano. Good afternoon. When I was first asked to speak at this symposium, I had some reservation about doing so. I had already spoken at a couple other events, <clears throat> and I was unsure if I can come up with something new that I hadn't said already. So I had asked my wife and children to help out. After all, they too shared my experience. They told me that there isn't anything to change, that your story is what it is. It's a survivor's story. <clears throat> and here is why imaging is so important. My name is Arthur Cassano. I'm from New York, and I'm a ruptured brain aneurysm survivor. About five years ago, while on vacation with my wife and three children in the mountains of Virginia, I suffered a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the basilar artery of my brain. Just before bed one evening, I had the worst headache of my life. Within minutes, I was vomiting uncontrollably, had lost the use of my right arm and leg, and had blurry vision. I also lost my memory for a short time as well. It shook my world and it changed my life forever. I was taken to a hospital about half hour north of where I was vacationing, only to be diagnosed but unable to be treated. They did not have the advanced imaging techniques and neuro neuroradiology <coughs> department needed to save my life. They had to airlift me to the University of Virginia Medical Center in Charlottesville, where a neurosurgeon and a neuroradiologist took me into their care. I then received innovative imaging and treatment with not, not, which not only saved my life, but also prevented me from having any neurological defects. Using the coiling method, neuroradiologist reached the aneurysm in my brain by navigating a microcatheter through the femoral artery in my right leg. Then they <coughs> inserted platinum coils through the catheter and blocked the flow of blood to the ruptured artery. The procedure is called coil embolization or coiling. In contrast to surgery, coiling does not require the need for riskier, direct, invasive surgery. Instead, physicians use real-time x-ray technology called fluoroscopic imaging to visualize my vascular system and treat the rupture from inside the vessel. No brain surgery or craniotomy was necessary. Sophisticated imaging they used on me can also be used to diagnose and monitor existing unruptured aneurysms as well as post-procedure follow-ups and treatment. If it were not for the imaging techniques, expertise, and innovation offered at UVA, I would have died or would have suffered from multiple disabilities. This would have ultimately affected the lives of my wife, children, family, and friends. As it was once said, there is never a dress rehearsal for this. It is always the real thing, and this was the real thing. I am so grateful that NIBIB has given me the opportunity to give voice to this important initiative. I can't help thinking what might have been. I might have been totally dependent on our healthcare system living with moderate to severe disabilities. This taxes our country and healthcare systems. It is so important that we continue to research and develop these sophisticated imaging techniques and procedures to prevent and treat brain aneurysms. As a U.S. citizen and a voter, I'm depending on you to continue to allocate funding for research and development for the imaging used for brain injuries. Only a survivor knows what it means to survive. And one day that might be you. After all, 150 people have a brain aneurysm. They don't even know it. An estimated 6 million people have an unruptured aneurysm. 40% who rupture will die. And four out of seven who survive will have multiple disabilities. Thank God I'm not one of those statistics. I am you, and I'm your mother, your father, your child, and your friend. And I am representing the six million people in this country who already have a brain aneurysm and don't even know it. What kind of imagery do you want if you are someone you love with me? I want you to look at me and listen to me. I am an alive and a productive member of society, all because I was given the right kind of care by the right kind of professionals using the right kind of techniques and imaging. 
In closing, I just wanted to say, this is the brain that often daydreams at meetings. <clears throat> this is the brain that doesn't remember all high school math. This is the brain that sometimes forgets his wife's birthday. And it's also the brain that will never forget the neuroradiologist that used a sophisticated imaging to save his life. Thank you.